Hello, I'm Dr. JC Lowen. I'm a clinical neuroscientist here at Cognitive FX. My background is uh, I went to pre-med actually and ended up deciding to do a PhD in neuroscience. I moved up here in Utah, actually went to graduate school at the University of Utah for neuroscience and I worked in a lab that actually dealt with epilepsy and neurovascular coupling. Interestingly enough, I was lucky enough to get a job here where I work with neurovascular coupling as it relates to concussion or mild traumatic brain injury. Along that, I also got a master's in clinical investigation, tying that all nicely up, and I'm happy to be working here. So the question is, what does a clinical neuroscientist do at Cognitive FX? I've got a multitude of roles, uh, the most important being interactions with patients. I do a lot of report of findings with patients, going over the results of their FNCI or their functional neurocognitive imaging with them and relating that to their experiences, their symptoms, etc. I also do consultations, so this is where I'm meeting someone for the first time, either in person, on the phone, or via video consult. I get to know these people, answer questions, and also evaluate them as far as whether they would be a good candidate for treatment or not. I also do a lot of other things. I am a big part of the research um, aspect here, looking into publishing some of our work, collaborating with uh, other individuals here and in other countries, actually. Final piece is that um, I like to provide education to our patients. If patients have questions, concerns, if they just want to know more about their brain and what happens to their brain after it's injured, I'm here to, to resolve all of those questions and work with our patients. One of my favorite parts about CFX or Cognitive FX is seeing patients go through treatment. Being able to see someone come in with an injured brain and leave with a recovered brain. Um, it makes you cry sometimes, but it is a happy cry. Some advice for someone who's thinking about going into neuroscience or becoming a neuroscientist really starts with experience. Know what you're getting into. Do internships, rotate in laboratories at your local university, or in case you live somewhere with a clinic like us here in Provo that works with mild traumatic brain injury, send them an email. Many people are so excited to teach those interested about the brain what the brain does and how to heal it.